Well, good morning, everybody. It's Chris from the here at Blue Rhino Safaris. Let me do the video on the Rustersveld and West Coast tour. Uh, I just completed um, the one of 2019. Very successful, a lovely group, and we had a load of fun. It is on the website, so if you go onto the Blue Rhino website, 2020 tours, um, it's the first one in line, it's the first one for 2020, and uh, I call it the Rustersveld and the West Coast. Um, the one that follows immediately on that is passes and parks in the Eastern Cape and the two tours are basically connected So you can do both tours together and you'll get a bit of discount on the uh, on one of the tours. So um, Let's have a look at the Rustersveld itself the um, Departure day 12th March uh, duration nine nights uh, We are camping all the way through except for one night where we are sleeping in uh, camping um, that is a set up campsite. The price is 7,400 Rand per person um, for the tour and that includes the night that you don't have to put your own tent where we sleep in um, pre-set accommodation and also uh, a seafood meal uh, where we eat in Honda Club Bay at a restaurant, um, crayfish, snook, freshly baked break bread, uh, really very nice second last night of the tour. Um, so the tour itself is well priced, it's one of the best value for money tours that I have on the trip and um, it really is worth worth doing. So let me show you a few things about this trip. This is one of the nice viewpoints that you have um, close to Kokerboom Kloof uh, in the Richtersveld itself and the group of uh, 2019 is just showing you the, the awesome views that you can expect when you go through there. Uh, let me go through the the route with you. Maybe first let's have a look at the at the map of South Africa for you to understand exactly where we are. Uh, Uppington is up there. The Namibian border is down here, and um, that is basically what we are doing for the trip. So we start in Kakamas, uh, we go up to Grabis, and then we get onto the Orange River, and we drive the Orange River all the way through to Fuels Drift. Um, on the Namakwa 4x4 eco route, a very nice route, we sleep in really nice campsites and um, when we get to Fjolds Drift we take the back roads and we go through the Richtersveld World Heritage Site all the way up to the uh, Richtersveld National Park, we spend our three nights in there, do up two nights, uh, Kokerboom Kloof for a night and then um, all the way down Alexander Bay, Port Nolith, down to Honda Bay and then into the Namakwa National Park for the last night. Um, really well balanced road, uh, route, it covers the Richtersveld um, and it covers this uh, flower section as well. There won't be flowers in March but we did have a little bit of flowers now when we went down in September. From there uh, I go down to Sutherland. Um, so we do Sutherland for the start of passes and parks and then I do uh, Sutherland down to the George area and all the way around Bavianskloof, uh, Ado National Park, the Bedrosfontein 4x4 Eco Route, Mountain Zebra Park and I finish there at Mountain Zebra. So to do the two tours together is, is a really a very nice um, tour. It's, it's about two weeks long I think, two and a half weeks in total. And as I say, if you don't do both of them, then there will be a little bit of a discount for it. So let's get back to the um, to the Richtersveld tour itself. So first night we sleep at Kokomas at a wine farm in the Orange River um, Valley area. These guys are known for the gin. So if you arrive a little bit early in the afternoon, then you can do a, a gin tasting. You can do a bit of wine tasting. The next morning we um, go up to the Grabis Falls, visit the falls, have lunch there. And then we drive down to Klein Pella, where we sleep for the first night on the Namakwa 4x4 Eco Route. Then you are on the Eco Route, uh, which means we have permits for the next two days to drive the Eco Route itself. And um, lovely back road driving, follow the Orange River, look at the history of the area, look at the um, nice views. Uh, the Namakwa Natal uh, belt is there for the geologists amongst us, which is one of the oldest exposed belts that we have in our region. And that's the rock formations, really very pretty rock formations. 
we ultimately end up in Fuel's Drift and uh, Spaza Shop if you need something. Otherwise, we carry on the next day. We take the back roads and drive through until we get to the Richtersveld entrance and then two nights at Kokerboom Kloof. Ach, two nights at uh, the Whoop where we sleep next to the river. Uh, we also visit Kokerboom Kloof for a night and then we exit um, down to Alexander Bay down to Honda Clip Bay where we spend the second last night in their accommodation with a lovely restaurant meal included in the price and then uh, the next day we finish off at um, at the Namakwa National Park and we sleep right on the on the shores of the uh, of the Atlantic Ocean so here's a, a few pictures of, of the trip. A little bit of 4 by 4 involved. Um, not too serious. This is about the worst section that there is. I did have a small caravan this year with a Prado towing it and we had no issues there. So you can bring a small caravan. I wouldn't bring a too heavy caravan or a too big caravan. It's just going to be very uncomfortable um, in some of the tight corners. Um, also a few rocks that's quite exposed where you have a, a bit of tight turning. But we didn't have any issues this year, no punctures, no problems, nothing at all. Uh, Namakwa National Park, camping on the on the coast itself. This is a nice um, rocky area behind Fields Drift that you go through where people have packed rocks, similar to Fonsales Pass in Namibia. Uh, also a very interesting experience to have. Coffee stops next to the river. The tour itself is very relaxed, um, gives you very much a holiday feel and um, there's not a lot of pressure on time on this trip so we have a decent amount of time we get to camps early and that leads to a bit of fishing uh, the smallmouth yellow fish is uh, caught in this section of the orange river and many fishermen from around the world come here to do that exactly on this trip we had three four fishermen out in the water and we um, actually had quite a <laughs> good catch for for the trip so if you're interested in fishing we will arrive in the afternoon at four o'clock or so in the camp gives you about two or three hours of getting your line in the water and just uh, just feeling for it and I think it was one two three nights of, um, of fishing that we had next to the Orange River so something nice to to change the um, the feel of the tour so if you're a fisherman bring your rods and um, try it out. This is a picture of Kokoboom Kloof. This is a picture of Kokoboom Kloof. Um, lovely campsite. If you haven't camped there before, it's really worth it and you will enjoy it. The Grabis Falls and then just a group picture of the um, of the rocky section. We camp on the Atlantic um, for our camping night at the um, Namakwa National Park. So really really something to to look out for it's um it's a great trip it, it really is i i thoroughly enjoyed it um the tour is already taking bookings for march next year so if you're interested please don't delay uh, get your booking in as soon as possible and um, join us for the trip cheers